With each dawn, they faced the reality of their mission. Daylight raids on enemy targets in occupied Europe and Germany. We usually were wakened very early in the morning, depending on what time takeoff was, but uh, it was not unusual to get up at 1.30 or 2 o'clock uh, to be ready to take off at dawn. Until 1944, they flew without fighter escort and suffered appalling losses. Crews stood a one in three chance of survival. From 1944, a single mission was made up of 1,400 bombers and 800 fighters. My job was a bombardier, and uh, I was lead bombardier for most of my two tours. And my job was to make sure that the bomb site worked properly and that we dropped the bombs squarely on the target. In addition to being a bombardier, uh, the bombardier operates the two 50 caliber machine guns in a turret located immediately below the bombardier seat in the nose of the airplane. And uh, the bombardier was especially useful with those two guns uh, whenever we had head-on attacks by the German Luftwaffe. The bomb run was a very dramatic occasion. There was an element of fear in all combat flying. Uh, but there's also a tremendous exhilaration in much of it. The flak over many targets, such as Berlin or Merzburg or places like that, uh, could uh, uh, really keep your attention, focused on uh, what was going on right around your aircraft. And uh, such as the day we were uh, following along on a target and the group ahead of us, I saw uh, an airplane have both wings blown off. And I really kind of lost touch with what was going on because that was a very upsetting experience. I realized when later on that I made no records of anything going on at that time. I had no idea what happened. I was, my whole attention was focused on that one airplane ahead of us. That was nobody I knew. I don't know what group it was, but it, uh, to watch that fuselage spiraling down to the ground and you knew that no one was going to escape from it, it really got to you that uh, this happened to somebody else. Well, the first thing that happened when the bombs were released was that all of the ships in that particular squadron made a sharp turn away from the target. And during the turn, we could watch the bombs hit in the target area. And of course, when we hit it perfectly, it was great exhilaration. There were times when we missed the target where it was, you know, the whole crew was depressed on the way back. these planes come in and there would be one almighty bang in the locality. We would look for a plume of smoke and then my brother and I, two growing young schoolboys in the area at that time, would set forth to find what was very much a disarray of metal and tangled wreckage when we would see what we could salvage. I've always thought that flying combat was a fantastic experience if you didn't get hurt or killed. Remember, we were 19, 20, 21 years old, in most cases. The physical strain of the experience was tremendous, but it took young people to do it. <laughs> 